Gemini, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name is Gentiles and welcome to Jet TV. All right, Gemini, I'm just this minute connected with my higher self. A second before I switch the camera on, so let's do a reading. For you, Gemini, bear in mind, these are general readings, it's not going to resonate with all of you, but if it does, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch an extended video. The extended video for this. I'm not doing private readings at this time. Can't seem to get around to uh, doing them. There's just not enough time in the day. All right, Gemini, love reading. Are you thinking about, mm, let me know in the comments below here, this is for someone in particular, are you thinking about uh, traveling somewhere? Um, I'm kind of getting um, New Mexico or, or uh, Nevada or somewhere around there. I, I, I don't know, I'm feeling like that kind of the, the color of the desert, like uh, in Grand Canyon or something, that sort of, that part of town anyway. No, it's 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 not as high up as like Death Valley or it's lower. It's it's lower down. It's not Nevada then. Let me know in the comments below. Gemini. The soil is more red. This is nothing to do with romance, this journey. But it's gonna build your soul. Be, uh, be good for you. All right, what do you need to, well, all right, this is kind of the, the overall vibe of the reading, really. Death. Death is changes, death is an ending, ending of crappy times and good times are ahead. Because of it, the Wheel of Fortune, so things are changing. <laughs> Random hiccup. Things are changing. I just ate a cookie, so I think that's what it is. I don't think it's uh, any throat chakra jazz. Um, Things are changing for you. Gemini, my loves. What you need to know right now, four of wands. Oh, yeah. Manifesting, so you're manifesting something in. Tell me more. Two, two loves, two love rivals here. Maybe a uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Maybe a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Are either of these suckers any good for you? No. No, they're not. They're... Both of these people that are on your mind right now are too detached. You feel like you have to make a decision I think this is where it's kind of going to go right. Because the decision that you make is the right one. And I, I, I get the feeling that you're not going to decide on either of them. I'm into this, Gemini. I'm into this. This is where your happiness comes in. This is where the, the wheel turns. And... a good decision. Tell me more. Six of Wands, victory. Why decide on any of them? You don't have to. 
Why is the Eight of Cups here for coming up in the near future? Confusing. One of them, uh, one of them you've known a really long time. It's confusing to you, this uh, hard decision to make to cut this person off. But it's the right decision to make. It's hard to set a boundary with this person because you've got a lot of history. This is maybe uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Got a lot of history together, so it's difficult for you to make that decision. But this person has in the past um, betrayed you badly. You don't owe it to them. You don't owe it to them to give them another chance. This is awesome. You're moving on. Yeah, you're moving on. I knew Nine of Pentacles was going to come out. I knew Nine of Pentacles was going to come out when I saw you were making a decision and it was the right decision. This is about you standing in your power and not feeling like you don't have any options this is like so you've got these two options and that's it you you're like well why choose either We're both idiots now you're best you can hope for you're moving on you're standing in your power you're nine of pentacles you're drinking from your own couple of this is you my love you're protecting yourself. You're putting up your boundaries. It's... This is what's difficult about this, is that... It's the right decision to make. You're gonna... Be independent. Stable. Secure, awesome, all on your own. You're going to protect yourself. All those things are great. It's not going to feel good though. It's not going to make you happy, that feeling, for a short time. But moving on isn't really easy sometimes. Change. Moving on. Humans don't like change. Generally. Generally speaking, let's take a look at this outcome. Why is that? Why is this going to make you sad? Because I'm trying to put this into words. It's like you had high hopes for one of these people. I think the, um, I think the water sign. I feel like you had quite high hopes for them, but they're, that's projecting my love. You could kind of see yourself having a future with that person and, and that was a fantasy. I, I just I feel this is all good that that you you know this is you're you're making the right decision is what I'm saying by not choosing either just getting on with your life and 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 why do you have to make a choice choose you I'm gonna take this into extent where I'm gonna ask about this person for you. I'll ask about both of them. It's a choice for you. I'll ask about both of them. Um, how do they really feel about you? What are their intentions towards you? What do they want to say to you? And some guidance from the universe. Two steps behind, but Def Leppard. 
Whatever you do, I'll be two steps behind you Wherever you go, and I'll be there to remind you I love that song Yeah I'm, I'm not seeing anything uh, positive in this Don't let pride get in your way Thanks for joining me, you guys. If you want to watch the extended, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon. You'll find the video there. See you later.